follow one another without interruption of cycle. Different tools are automatically brought into use at any stage in the cycle. For example, the rear slide can be used for facing, removing excess metal, rough or finished cuts, forming grooves, relief cuts, chamfers, and even roll threading. The controls permitting a complete setup in 30 minutes or less include the automatic turret control, the main carriage control, the rear slide control with a setup feature, and the two-speed motor drive control. In addition, there is the cycle selector ranging from one to four automatic cuts. Turret, carriage, and the two-speed spindle drive can be timed with the cycles. Cut selector used in making a setup is also on the control panel, as well as the control for bringing in the rear slide at the desired time. The simplified operator control is on top of the carriage. Easy lathe operation combined with the automatic multi-cut turning cycle increases output, often permitting one man to run two or more machines. Limit switches are located behind sliding panels at the front of the machine. Limits are set by adjustable dogs. Movement of the carriage causes the apron switches to contact these dogs. Quick and positive setting of the seven stops is provided by signal lights that glow when contact is established between the various dogs and their corresponding switches. One reason for the short setup time of this automatic is the ease of setting these stops. Rate of feed for each cutting operation is set by six hydraulic flow controls. Accurate, positive, infinitely variable setting is possible. Once set, feed change to proper cutting condition is automatic, permitting faster production and finer finishes. Close tolerance and fine finish often eliminate grinding or polishing operations. And now let's see what these features would mean if this were an actual four-cut cycle production job. There is heavy stock removal, so indexing adjustable stops prevent the tracer stylus contacting the template on the first two roughing cuts. On the third roughing cut, the air gauge tracer stylus contacts the roughing template, which is mounted under the finishing template. At the end of the third cut, two things happen automatically. The template carrier moves downward, and the turret indexes to bring the finishing tool into cutting operation. The fourth and finish cut is completely tracer controlled with the proper tool, proper speed, and proper feed. No human hands have touched the machine. Instantly, this high-speed automatic has changed into a machine with all the qualities of a fine tool room lathe. The Model 21H is an easy machine to live with. In comparison, the Model 20H is an automatic dual-cycle metal turning lathe designed for smaller work or work requiring only a one or two cut cycle. A two-speed motor drive Automatically operative at the proper point in the cycle provides best surface cutting speed. The machine employs both a roughing and finishing template. One template is stacked on the other, and the cycle so arranged that the finishing cut automatically follows the roughing cut. The roughing template automatically indexes to operative position after the finished cut. Changing from two cut to one cut or back again is done with a single selector switch. Tolerances are easily held within plus or minus 1,000. Controls required only during setup are at the front of the main control cabinet at the left end of the lathe. Besides the on-off buttons, there is the carriage control, the spindle high or high-low, rear slide on or off, coolant, and cycle selector. Five hydraulic flow controllers are mounted at the front, 
with the meter in its safe yet easy to read location. Four controls are for front carriage feed, while the fifth regulates the rear facing and forming slide feed. Automatic feed change is controlled by adjustable dogs mounted on a rail below the carriage. Up to four different feeds may be used automatically as desired during the cut. Final accurate adjustment of the template slide is made at the front of the lathe while the same type of micro adjustment is possible for the rear slide. The simple operator controls are mounted on the carriage. The air gauge tracer dual template control system is one of the features transforming this rugged high speed lathe into a production automatic. Rough and finished turning is accomplished in one continuous operation with duplication easily within plus or minus a thousand. Rear slides are often tooled for cutting, but here a thread rolling attachment is used. And now for some actual cutting operations. Because of many sizes and designs, crankshafts have been expensive problems for compressor manufacturers, particularly those in the air conditioning business. But now, many producers are finding our Model 20H cuts the cost of machining sometimes as much as 50%. Equally as important is that for this crankshaft job, two monomatics replaced four turret lathes. The material is ductile iron. The crankshaft comes to the monomatic face to length and centered to depth. It is held between centers and is driven by a three-jaw compensating air-operated chuck. Only one pass is needed, which reduces machining time over the long stem of the crankshaft to 50 seconds. Floor to floor time is just over one minute. What makes one pass possible is the cycle arrangement. It's time so that the rear slide rough cuts both the shoulder faces, removing the excess metal from the casting ahead of the front running tool. Spindle speed for the rear slide is 700 RPM with six inches feed per minute. The air gauge tracer controlled front tool contour turns the chamfer, two diameters and two faces. Spindle speed is 700, but the feed is 11 inches a minute. Depth of cut is 1 8 inch. Carbide tooling is used. Tolerances are such that the grinding time normally required is cut in half. Two separate spindle speeds are used in machining the short stem. 700 RPM on the small diameters, and 350 for the large diameter and the rear slide. Three feeds are employed for best results. 10 inches per minute over the stem, 25 inches as the front tool traverses to the large diameter, and five inches machining the large center diameter. The three rear tools finish face both ends of the bearing and also face the second shoulder on the short stem. Quick setup, low tooling costs, fast turning cycles, permit manufacturers to maintain close production schedules without excessive inventories or to meet frequent crankshaft design changes. This is a dual carriage monomatic machining a railroad axle. The journal measures five and one half inches by eight feet and weighs in excess of 1,000 pounds. The operations on both ends perform simultaneously are to finish turn the roller bearing journal for grinding and to finish turn the dust guard, the radius, and the small bevel on the wheel seat. Material is railroad axle steel. Feed direction of each carriage is toward the center. Tools are air gauge tracer controlled, operating from identical templates. The left hand template rail has been designed for left to right tool movement. Carbide tools are used. Depth of cut is 1 64th of an inch. Feed is 2 inches, 10 inches, and back to 2 inches. RPM is 248. Dual carriages eliminate the extra handling of the heavy axle that is required for the usual work and turn operation. This feature alone cuts total handling time per piece to 2 and 3 quarter minutes. Also, it has solved the problem of maintaining center distances of radii 
and permitted plunge grinding without excessive wheel breakdown. Total machining time per piece is now four and three quarter minutes. This added to the handling time, total seven and a half minutes, floor to floor time for each railroad axle. Now with the dual carriage air gauge tracer equipped monomatic, the time required for turning railroad axles is cut exactly in half. And because limits are held to plus or minus a thousandth of an inch, grinding time is shortened, with one grinding operation completely eliminated. This operation, performed on a Model 20H, is the final finish cut and threading of a stub spindle. Material is 1045 shafting. Two cut cycling may be used. The finish pass is done at 2110 RPM with a surface speed of 800 feet per minute. Speed is 15 inches per minute. Depth of cut is 15,000. An attachment in the rear slide rolls threads on the stem following the finish cut. 98 pieces are machined an hour. One money saving feature of this automatic is setup time. Only 34 and one half minutes are required to completely set up the monomatic for stub spindle machining. The required surface finish is held on the three diameters and limits are no more than plus or minus five ten thousandths of an inch, which is mighty close tolerance for high production work. Yet in the same cycle, stronger threads are obtained, quality is improved and machining costs reduced. Next demonstration with a Model 20H is a trailer spindle. Material is tough ASTM 1040. This template control job utilizes the two-speed motor and the rear slide. The stem is turning at 700 RPM, holding approximately 436 surface feet per minute. Feed is set for 16 inches a minute with a quarter inch depth of cut. The rear slide faces the flange. Spindle speed is 350 RPM. Surface speed, 452. Feed is three and one half inches per minute. Machining time is 45 seconds. Floor to floor time is less than one minute. Here, an air gauge tracer equipped monomatic is producing a multi-diameter part to within plus or minus a thousand, which is extremely accurate for this hard to machine material. And look at all the diameters required for this heat-treated trailer spindle. Here's a job that makes full use of the capabilities of the Model 21H monomatic. It's machining a planetary shaft. Material is AISI 4150 heat-treated steel. It's a two-cut cycle operation employing the indexing turret. The finished cut is at 282 surface feet per minute and feed at 25 thousandths per revolution. Depth of cut is 1 8 inch. The carriage rapid traverse returns. The ample power, speed and feed available enable operators to utilize the full productiveness of carbide tooling as well as the new ceramics and titanium carbides. Tool costs are low because there is no need for expensive forming tools. Also, complicated multiple tool setups are practically eliminated. Round templates, as used here, prove very satisfactory. Stylus pressure is light, causing no wear. Total machining time for the rough cut and finish pass is just under three minutes. The other end of the shaft requires only one rough cut followed by a finished pass. The big story in this job is the money the manufacturer saved by turning to the Model 21H monomatic. The cost of machining by former methods was in dollars per piece. Now it's in pennies. Before it required 804 minutes to machine 10 pieces at a cost of $8.70 each. Now he does it in just over 90 minutes at a cost of 97 cents each. Before, it took 1,565 minutes to turn 100 pieces at a cost of $1.64 each. Now he does it in about one-third of the time 
and for 60 cents a piece. Before it required four to six hours for setup time. Now he does it in less than two hours. Before it required six machines and three operators. Now he does it with two Model 21H Motomatics and only one operator. A real purchase in the machining supermarket. Job after job, performance report after performance report, manufacturer after manufacturer are proving year after year that the most reliable, most accurate, fastest machining and floor to floor time on small lot or large lot production requirements are coming from the Monomatic, an amazing automatic that's producing the greatest machining bargains in the metal turning mark. Thank you.